has been growing rapidly in global setting. That we are now at the point where nearly all schools own computers and have access to internet resources. It is also clear the schools are using technology in more ways than ever before. The statistics at these points are convincing and no one seriously questions them. As a response, here in the Philippines, there are some programs being implemented to enhance the skills and capabilities of the educators in honing the learners to be more competitive. Also, the learning environment was being modified to accommodate the emerging trend in education. Sandu City, a booming city in the south, is a home to a number of competitive educational institutions. These schools, acknowledging the usefulness of the technology in the teaching learning process, have procured different gadgets and equipments to meet the current trend, which is the ICT integration in teaching. In this film, we will take a glimpse of the innovative instructional technology that invades the field of education. We will take a closer look at the modern teaching aids being utilized by the four major institutions in this city. Here in Silip Technics. The Notre Dame of the Jengas University is a school in General Santo City. It is a Catholic institution run by the Marist Brothers. With its objective, which is to develop spiritual, intellectual, social, aesthetic, and physical abilities of its students through instruction and practice, the school had provided different facilities with high-tech gadgets and equipment. The Educational Technology Center, or ETZ, provides the NDDU students, faculty, and administrators with multimedia resources, facilities, and services to meet the instructional and research needs. The ETC takes charge of scheduling the use of the projection rooms, recording studio, and editing rooms. Likewise, it maintains the overhead projectors placed in all classrooms and conference rooms, and the TV monitors and video players placed at the science lab, nursing lab, and the graduate school. The ETC has almost 2,000 titles in its collection arranged and organized using the Dewey Decimal Classification System. They come in various formats such as audio tapes, slides, acetate transparencies, VHS, VCD, DVD, ACD, CD rooms, and a wide array of educational equipments including opaque projectors that can be used for quality presentation. Okay, and we have the multimedia machine. Ito siya multimedia na siya. You can integrate pictures with moving objects. So when you do that, mas lalong ma-entertain yung students mo and they will have greater or, or greater retention of what you've taught them. Do you believe that technology integration plays an important role in the teaching learning process? Yes. It has, it gives benefit to the students in a way that but uh, merong pang visual aid na pinapresent and it's it's the appropriate one. You know, you're using the appropriate visual aid on the topic. It enhances their learning capability. As well as the interest of the students. Yes. Uh, that's one that's one aspect of it. No, kasi pag sinabi mo na meron kang visual aid dyan, tapos especially kung yung moving one, and you are, you are facilitating elementary school's pupils, talagang first, first ano pa lang, first, first na makita pa lang nila yun, you get already the attention. So yung attention span nila, makuprolong mo. And at the same time, it facilitates learning kasi yung makikita nila, nai-integrate nila yung kung ano yung sinasabi ng teacher, ano yung dinideliver ng teacher. So, when you're going to evaluate the student, they are not only trying to remember or recall what the concept that is being given by the teacher, but they are also given they are also given a help, no? Na, ah, ganito kasi yung mga pictures na pinakita ko. So, it enhances learning. At saka recall. 
Mindano Polytechnic College is the only maritime school in General Santo City with its aim to imbue its academic community with the values of integrity, honesty, transparency, and intellectual excellence. In order to meet this training program of the school, the facilities and faculties are all abreast with global trends and competitiveness. Available technologies here are ARPA Simulating Room or Automatic Radar Plotting Aid, Global Maritime Distress Safety System, Computer-Based Training, Machine Shop, Engineering Laboratory, Mock Bridge, Media or Call Center Lab, IT Computer Lab, and Internet Laboratories which has the direct access in Spain for the shipment of the gadgets and equipments to be purchased in the said country. What is also impressive in this school is the so-called computer teacher wherein all instructions and lessons are being inputted in the computer. This is not the requirements set for public training. However, after successful completion of this CBT, it will refresh your proper knowledge or prepare you for the required simulator course combined with I and O requirements for public training and certification. This course will be obtained at Seagull RS Training Center in Portland, Norway. What is the implication of having technologies in school? Well, ang mga pagkakaroon natin ng mga technology sa school ay napakamahalaga dahil nakakatulong sila na mga pagkunawa yung mga estudyante na mas nagagalingan. So, talaga in-encourage natin sa ngayon na sa tulong ng mga ibang ibang gadgets natin sa education, magiging madali ang pagkakaunawa ng mga estudyante na sa klase. Training program of the school, facilities, and faculties are all really abreast with global trends and competitiveness. Science Technology Institute, or known for its acronym STI, claims to be the second largest IT based educational institution in Asia. For more than 20 years, STI has been generating technology-driven professionals through its unique learning systems and job-oriented programs. This is STI's Computer Laboratory, also known as a computer suite or computer cluster, which contains many network computers for students' use. They have three network computer laboratory with 40 computers in each, and it is provided primarily for academic activities such as computer applications and occupational technology, programming, keyboarding, multimedia, and computer graphics. Activities was designed to produce analytical and professionals with in-depth knowledge in applying, designing, and implementing computer system. The technical laboratory is used by students who are taking up technology-related courses. It has models of computer parts inside the laboratory wherein students make use of it in times of experimentations, discovery, and inventions. STI's technical laboratory is a room where skills in desktop publishing, web publishing, computer programming, and work processing is done. It provides students with manipulative skills as they perform a series of real-life upgraded exercises in a fully functional personal computers. What are the advantages and disadvantages of technology? Uh, the advantages of technology are uh, why our broad source resources of information. So, I say, we can get information using the internet. Uh, and the internet has described as a collection of ideas and data of the people all over the world. That was one of the disadvantages of using technology is that it's not a good thing to do because it's not a good thing sa internet or sa computer or other technological devices kaysa makinig sa kanilang teacher. 
Kaya this is the main reason kung bakit konti na lang yung pupapasok ng mga sadyante ngayon sa kanilang mga classroom. Mindanao State University is a state university in General Santos City and the only state university in the Philippines with a special mandate of integrating the cultural communities in Mindanao into the nation's social, cultural, and political life. Nevertheless, this educational institution is keeping to abreast with the global trend in education in terms of technological acquisition. Among the available facilities and instructional technology in MSU are LCDs and overhead projectors that can be used in class presentation and discussion, speech laboratory for enhancing the student's oral communication skills, the audiovisual room for catering various activities, the audio room for lights and audio control during presentations, the internet room which has the web access Computer laboratory wherein hands-on and computer manipulation happens. Engineering control room for the application of the student's learning theory. As a teacher, does technology help you in facilitating learning? No, actually, malaki, mabilis ang learning ng estudyante if it takes together with these logistics, like the other logistics natin niya, mabilis kasi puro ka, then they do uh, make response using computers. Here are very good, so mabilis sila mag Till now, the school is pursuing their best to provide all the needs of their students, especially in the equipments to be used in learning. As we approach the 21st century, it is clear that innovative instructional technologies are offering impressive possibilities in education. Adaptations and permutations of the existing theory will evolve, but we stand on the threshold of the new learning paradigm as man and machine begin to truly collaborate in a common learning schema. Instructional technologies broadens the scope of education beyond basic textbooks. The electronic age we live in almost demands that education delivers learning in a manner that is in keeping with the most current technological developments. Advanced technology has the potential to significantly expand the breadth and depth of curriculum. Some of the underlying reasons of the inclusion of instructional technology are to gain and retain students' interest as well as to provide and enhance learning experiences. Now, do we want to be left behind with the progressive countries in terms of integration of technology in learning? Definitely not! All of this lies in our hands. The students, the teachers, the administrators, the government. Ladies and gentlemen, be prepared. Let us change our future as advanced technology makes innovative dreams becomes a reality.
and gentlemen, be prepared. Together with our dreams, let us soar high. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard. When